Welcome back to Friends and Neighbors. Today I want to introduce you to a friend of mine, John Farley, the curator here at the Huntington Museum of Art. My name is John Farley. I'm the senior curator and exhibition designer here at the Huntington Museum of Art. I began working here at HMA in 2011 as a part-time curatorial assistant. And I'm standing here today in The Art of the Still Life, one of our latest exhibits on view at the Huntington Museum of Art. As a genre, the still life has preoccupied both artists and the art collecting public for many, many, many years. If you think about it, it makes a whole lot of sense. As an artist, if you're on the search for subject matter, what is more readily available than the objects that surround yourself in your daily life? What would be more easily manipulated, gathered, experimented with in order to generate an exciting composition and hone your skills? We have examples ranging from the very abstract to the highly representational. We have examples spanning continents. We have artists working in the Americas. We have French artists, Italian artists, Haitian artists. In my view, it is a very important exercise to find value in elevating the commonplace. For your still life, start simple. Focus on your object and worry about the background later. To begin your drawing, start with simple guidelines to help determine your composition. Find your basic shapes, such as the square, circle, or triangle. We all know for my example that an apple is more like a circle than a triangle. Through the use of color and changes in value, begin to develop your form. This may take some time, so be patient with yourself. Really look at your object and determine what is in highlight and shadow. A value system is just the relative lightness or darkness of a surface or plane. Have fun. Don't be hard on yourself, and always sign your name when you're finished. I hope you've enjoyed this installment of Friends and Neighbors. As always, take care of one another. Hey folks, welcome back to the show. Thanks for tuning in and watching from home. Let's take a break from all the day-to-day -day regular biz and spend some time with our neighbors and friends that time again. We're talking three simple things, are they?